Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Rockets have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. for what should be a great game of college football. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ball State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's out to the 30. He's got the corner. And they push him out around the 48-yard line. Toledo staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Takes the handoff inside and stopped immediately. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication. He's getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. The Rockets always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Lyles. He'd like to change field position with his punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes at the 30. That'll bring up third and inches. The first down and they make the stop around the 40 yard line a quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass quick throw incomplete one of his receiver that pass led him just a little bit too far but still great effort second down 10 to go Ball on their own 40. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. On the throw. Incomplete pass. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. Here we go. Here we go. Tight right. Tight right. Four down. Four down. Red two. Green nine. Motion. Motion. 
He heaves it deep. Tackle at the 21. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Taken down at the 24-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game five on the That brings him second and five. Throw in the end zone, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field for the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and then moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. McCray has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Ball State's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Fires to the wide out. First down. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 19, Mike 19. Larson gets a carry left side. They'll bring him down around the 21 yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. out to around the 12. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Got a man in and out of his hands. From the 12-yard line, second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Room around the corner. 
Touchdown, Toledo. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven in this one. And he's hammered down. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Black five, black Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. That makes it 33. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Four down, four down. Check three, check three. 34 is the mic. 34 Red two. Mic. Easy, easy. Dumps it incomplete. One of the screen. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this. Just step and deliver and make the throw. Singleton is the punter. Roberts takes it at the 33. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he hauls it in. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And they got him. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Got it and brought down immediately. That brings up third and 12. tackled at the 23-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. Steps out of bounds at the 17. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They come out on an empty backfield. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Big play, and it's first and goal. Rick's a tackle at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. Hey, 
And a man open touchdown. He makes the PAT. Barrett gets set to kick this one away. Murphy takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. Across midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 23. Give to the tailback. And he's level at the 11. And he's hit immediately. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run from the nine yard line it's third down well after that injury we'll get to see the backup quarterback here Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. That screen gets around six. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Gray looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. The Rockets over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Toledo is up by four. Delayed handoff. And he's stopped behind the line. Incomplete, intended for his wideouts. 
Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the official's taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After the review play, the rule on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled right away. They pick up a good six yards there. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Toledo is up four. Strike to his receiver, no good. Lyles to punt. He's got the corner. Murphy fields it at the 27. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. It's complete. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. Ball State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. for a loss they lose four there well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play they read it from the get-go throws middle of the tight end and they make the stop around the 45 yard line Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Rockets lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with the quarterback play, I'm sure. I always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Yards. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at the 24-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set. And he comes in with his dime package. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Stevens was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Makes it to the 37. Hit out of bounds at about the 45. That makes it second and two. Four yard loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 32. They'll bring him down at the 19 yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. This is the ninth play of this drive. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They bring him down. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. down marker is that far away someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down it just didn't happen for him here you aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense that's a really good stop we're about set to start things up again Toledo holds a four-point lead He's taken down at the 31-yard line. That's a game of one. That makes it second and eight. He's in trouble. And a quick throw. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice game on second down. He 
lets it fly. And he's immediately tackled. First down. He's taken down at the four. That'll make it second and inches. Touchdown, Toledo. Tacks on the extra points. A five-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Stevens from the one, out of bounds at the 23. Toledo's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. One yard loss for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 43.18-yard line. White only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. That brings up second and nine. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. Pitches back, and he tackles him hard at the 19. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That's three down and one to go. Toledo's in front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. Watch 32, watch 32. Green nine, green nine. Green eight. Motion, motion, motion. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
with a quick throw. The defender had it and then dropped it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires incomplete. From their own 19-yard line, second down. out of bounds around the 22 yard line that makes it for he's out to the 30 gains his way to the 39 yard line that's a game of 17 on the play first down Go, D, get off the field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Complete. He's got room. And he's leveled at the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Throws. down now and they need to get it down to the 36. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Stewart was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position in this football game. It's a way short punt. Ball State's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. They're ready to begin another drive. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They're going to review this fumble and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. And they hit him in the backfield. 
The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 44. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Just under three to go in regulation. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. They're at the six. Second down. And he's stopped behind the line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he got it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two minutes in the game. Larson takes the give. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in 34. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This is a team that knows when and how to attack on the ground. They have a very good sense for what plays will work when. Nice run up the middle. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Ball State will take their last time out. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. And down he goes at the three-yard line. with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. We have less than a minute to go.
He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Gamecocks came into the game ranked 13th. Many said they didn't deserve to be ranked that high. That performance would say those people were right. And for Auburn, they've won eight games on the season. Auburn puts it away and wins by 13. 24 to 13 in our game here. Merritt is lined up to kick this one off. Stevens from the four. And he's taken down at the 27. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He steps out at about the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Wants to go long and does. Brought down at the 15-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Second and ten. Ball on the 15. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the six-yard line. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-13, Rockets. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.